hello viewers welcome to my channel in this video i want to show everyone on how to achieve a contour map using the autocad civil 3d from a to z so at the end of the video everybody will know how i achieve this contour map of this region all right so if you are just joining me on the first time on this channel do where to hit on the subscribe icon and turn on your notification to keep getting notified for valuable tutorial so let's get started you have to open a new work environment so on your new work environment the first thing you have to do is to create a point group for your data so if your settings is on something else you come to your prospector if your prospector is not activated this is under the two space all right you see this icon here the first icon you click on it to activate your prospector so under that you will come to point groups you will click on it then you right click then you click on new on your new you have to rename the point group so i'm going to call this Deeper. then under your point style okay you leave it at basic then you click on the pencil icon so if yours is on information or any other information you click on marker to choose the exact uh, point style for your set of topo data so i will recommend this asterisk sign this is really good for topographic survey data then under your size options click on the drop down then set as absolute units then you can reduce this test height of it so i'm going to be using one in this case you can increase or reduce depending on what suits you then you click on apply and ok so that's that then the next is the point label style so you click on the drop down arrow so the only thing i am in need of in this spot height or topo data is the elevation all right i'm not in need of the description or whatsoever just the elevation so you click on elevations click on the drop down arrow to make changes on the test of the elevations so the first is to click on this three dotted icon then you click on this preview window to highlight all the old programmed command there then your unit let it be on meters precision let it be on 0.01 and you click on this arrow to effect the changes then you come to format come to font style then change it to your font style of interest then because this is the elevation description you will, there's a need to change the color to white so that is your spot height data all right then you click on ok so you have made those changes then the test height i'll be using one in this case so this can be modified as times goes on depending on what you want then after you are done with all this you click on apply and ok then lastly apply and ok so under your point groups you click on the plus icon you are going to see the point group for your topo data you are about to import then you minimize your autocad 3d then you come to your spot height data in excel so so these are my set of raw data so endeavor to tabulate it this way if you want to produce a contour map using AutoCAD Civil 3D. Although there are other formats, you can check the description of this video or the end screen. You are going to see some attached video there for other format of raw data. However, I recommend this for contour mapping. So tabulate it, it states nothing, then your elevations. So the AutoCAD Civil 3D does not read the headings. So what you need to do is to highlight the heading, right click, then you delete it. Note the format, instance, nothings, elevations. And after that, you come to file, come to save as, divide the folder where you want it to be. So I'm going to call this bracket YT, that is YouTube. Then your save as type, make sure it is CSV command limited. Then you click on save. After that, you close your worksheets for your Excel. Then you come back to your AutoCAD work environment. Then you come to points, click on the drop down, click on points creation tools. 
then you click on this last icon import points then you click on this plus icon to go and add your data so i will navigate to where my data is under my youtube folder so you navigate there as well and here it is topo data yt then your files of type check csv then you click on open so if you have done what i did you are going to see a green tick that is it is readable by the autocad 3d then you come below to specify the uh, point format so according to the excel sheet it is instance nothings elevations and here it is and it is command delimited in case yours is showing some other format you are expected to scroll and look for the right format then you check on that so you can see a preview of that here it is nothings point elevations after that you check the add point to point group so then you just check the box then after that leave all this on default then you click on ok so we have successfully import our topographic data if you can't see yours on the screen click on the zoom extend icon or you come to the command line z enter e enter so these are my set of topographic uh, data so you can see the spot height and its elevations respectively so that is how to import the survey data and that is the first step then after you have imported the spot height or the topographic data you come to surface so everything we are doing is still under the uh, prospector so you can close this so under surface you right click then you click on create surface under create surface you will come to this icon here so make sure yours is on tin surface that is thin triangulated regular network surface then under your information you click on the three dotted icon at the last so you are going to rename this so i'm going to call this contour so your contour is a form of surface your tin is a form of surface your slope they are surface your dm those are surfaces however what we want to achieve with this spot height or topographic data is a contour surface we can as well as generate the slope and the DEM from this uh, raw topographic data. But let's stick to the aim of the video. Alright, so you rename that, then you click on OK. Then under description, you leave that. Then your style, you click on the three dotted icon at the end of that. Then you click on this drop down. Then you scroll down to contours and triangles. So that is why I named my own contours contours and triangles after you are choosing your surface type you click on the pencil icon for order editing so you come to contours the contours tab above then under your contour ranges you leave that 3d geometry you leave that legend you leave that you can actually see some informations under that all right under your 3d geometry you can see here use surface elevations that is our topographic data you can exaggerate the elevations, flatten the elevations. However, let us stick to the default, use surface elevations. Then, those are the important uh, informations under the 3D geometry. Alright, it is going to give you your surface elevations according to the topographic data without any manipulations. Then you close that. Under your legend, there's nothing much to do. Contour intervals, this is the one important thing you have to take note of so your contour intervals you are expected to specify the minor interval and the major interval leave the base elevation as zero your minor interval depending on how you want your contours to you know to be interpolated i would like the minor interval to be 0 0.5 this gives me the best representation of my uh, site right then your major interval i will recommend one right so you addict it to your minor interval and major interval of interest after that you close that then you come to contour depressions under your contour depressions the default is fault so i'm going to leave it at default all right so i'll close that then the last information under the properties for the contours is the contour smoothing so under the contour smoothing it is false but if you activate it to be true you are going to see the option for the smoothing type so there is add vertices and there is spline curve the difference is that your add vertices is going to have 
some intersections according to how the uh, contour lines are, are joining each other but the spline curve is going to smoothen the surface so you are not going to have some intersections and other things that makes your contour to look a little bit rough so i advise you to go with the spline curve all right it is going to smoothen your contour lines and it's going to make it to be final so after you have done all the settings here you click on apply and ok all right then you click on ok at the very end so your render material you leave that as default then you click on ok so that's the next step then the next step is to come to the plus icon under or beside your surface you are going to see the contour you have created then you click on the plus icon beside your contour then you scroll down to definitions you click on that so you are going to see other options boundary break lines contours and the rest of it however our data we want to interpolate to generate our contour is under our point group so you click on point groups then you right click if you have imported a dm file this is where you generate that but let's just stick to the video so point groups you click on it you right click then you click on add so it's going to tell you to select which of the options so select your topo data apply and ok so you can see automatically it has generated our contours on the surface and it has delineated the boundary automatically so that is how to generate contours in case your uh, contour surface is looking too cumbersome you can choose to you know uncheck some layers maybe for the uh, TIN but it has actually integrated the triangulated irregular network as well as the contours on each other so you just click on the surface come to surface properties then click on surface properties so here you click on the pencil icon then you come to display so you can see the other display layers so we have for triangles we have the border we have the major minor contour so you can uncheck the triangles that is for the TIN so you can see other information that is the beauty of the CO 3D it will generate the elevations the DAM it will generate the slope slope arrow that is slope directions for you that is slope directions on its own too and the arrow on the slope directions so you can choose to check any of the layer and print depending on your deliverable of interest so let's stick to the video so i have unchecked that of the triangle then you can change the color as well so contour is expected to be you know brown in color so my major contour let me click on the color icon change that to brown then my minor contour I'm going to leave that as you know something like that. All right. So that is it. Then you can now click on apply and OK. And lastly, apply and OK. So guys, you can see that is how to generate contour map using AutoCAD CP3D. So you can see the spot height. You can see the contours as well. So you can have a better uh, you know understanding of the terrain by changing it to you know a 3d uh, view using the uh, object viewer so you just need to click on the surface the object viewer is going to be activated you click on the object viewer then you can see then you click on this drop down here then you can change it to any uh, format of interest so let's go with conceptual so when you do that just click on the surface and rotate so this symbol here is going to be showing you the view so actually the default is we are viewing it from the top we are viewing the property or the side from the top however if you want to view it from the you know from the front view you just need to keep you know changing that to where you have a front view you know you understand information so this is the original front view of the property if you are standing on the side this is how you are going to be viewing it from the front view so you can see that this place is very low and uh, this place is very high all right so that is how to generate contour and change it to a 3d uh, model all right and um, if you are not okay with that you can use any other uh, information so this is a 3d wireframe okay so you can see 
and um, you can just choose some other thing this is realistic and anyone that suits you the most okay just choose that so that's that and um that's the end of the video if you want to add your contour you know labels check under the description i have a video already made on that so you are going to add the contour labels to show the labels on each of the contours all right if you find this video helpful and informative do well to hit on the subscribe icon as well as turn on your notification to keep getting valuable tutorial freely thank you see you in the next video